Welcome to Fire Virgo Tarot. I am a tarot reader and intuitive. Shout out to all my lovely Fire Virgos. Ooh, I'm liking the energy. Look, I just spoke you up, Virgo. Some of you guys got double Virgo, lots of Virgo in your chart or dealing with one. Virgo season of last year was very significant for you here. Oh, wow. Okay, Virgo, what we got going on? So the first card, I was like, this is cute because we pulled perfect for me. I know that's right. So somebody feels like, Virgo, you're perfect for them. Virgo's perfect. I mean, I, I don't know how else to, to flip it. Virgo, it is what it is. I feel like it's so easy for you to strike up feelings of jealousy in others. And you know, I'm not one of those readings who talk about jealousy and who's hating and who's this and who's eyeing that, you know, but this reading calls for it. Why? Because we actually pulled the jealousy card. So that's why I'm going there. So I definitely feel like there's an undertone of jealousy with, with you here, Virg. I feel like this person is also jealous because, or not only is it this person who's jealous, I feel like there's other people, other women, other men who are jealous of you because you seem to be able to get things easier or you're very beautiful, you're charismatic, your personality is A1, you just have a confidence to you, a vibe to you that is one of one, it is unmatched, nobody can compare in that way. I mean, it's big Virgo energy, I mean, what else? But with the perfect for me, I feel like there's also an energy where this person is like, damn, Virgo's perfect for me, but I'm in a space where I'm jealous right now of who else is looking at Virgo like they're perfect too. Because they're like, I know good and damn well I can't be the only person who thinks Virgo is perfect. So they're really aware of that. I feel like your person has a has real jealousy in them, right? But I think they play it cool. Because at the bottom deck, we have tell me. I feel like this person would love to ask you, Virgo, are you dating anybody else? Do you find me more attractive than the last person you dated or anybody that's giving you off right now? I feel like you really bring up so many emotions <laughs> of inadequacy, jealousy, not enoughness, all that comes up. And I, I, I'm really chuckling. I'm tickled because, listen, one thing about it here, uh, Virg, people got to people know. Yes, Virgo has options. Yes, I'm perfect. Yes, 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 and yes, that is correct. We can't be out here giving people unnecessary levels of comfort. Absolutely not. For what? This the, the husband card didn't come out. The wife card didn't come out. So we, who who exactly are we giving that level of, of 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 comfort and security? Absolutely not. You should feel very insecure. And I'm not talking about looks wise. I'm saying be very insecure when it comes to me. Yes, because you just never know who could come and swoop me up. Okay, you don't know who's knocking on that door. So. <laughs> clarify this i like this reading already i like it i like it i like it what is this Ooh. <laughs> your person okay hold on your person got to get out their damn head berg i feel like they think about this so much and what what comes up for them so much is can i really trust virgo is virgo trustworthy is virgo as prim and proper as they portray themselves to be or does virgo got some shit to them is virgo really non-committal is virgo look is virgo really outside third party energy they think about that they wonder if you're dealing with other people or if you are wanting to, if, are wanting to commit to them because remember virgo i was like you the husband card or the wife card didn't come out and why i said that is because i'm trying to make it very clear that this person is nobody that you need to be giving so much emotional security to or uh, competitive security to yes you are in the the den of lions yes and you may get mauled at any given time so make sure you got your all your your protective gear on because it is a doggy dog world out here when it comes to the virgo yes everybody's knocking down my door right now yes even if you have no options virgo i feel like that's just the energy that you're giving <laughs> And this person is like, I feel like that Virgo got a non-committal flair to them. They're like, oh, I don't like that. What? So they contemplate if they can really trust you. Why? Why is trust coming up for this person? You changed, Virgo. You changed. Why is trust coming up for them when they think about my Virgo? Why is trust coming up for them? Okay, give me one more. All right. 
so we have waiting. They're not sure yet whether the, what the final verdict is. Do I declare Virgo untrustworthy or do I extend them trust? And Virgo, I feel like you haven't done anything to cause this except for be fine, except for be independent, except for be confident. You literally causing all this shit in your person just because you're confident and just because you're not needy and, or not clingy or you stopped. Maybe at some point you were with this person. I don't know, but you damn sure stopped. All right, we also have family oriented. I feel like what tempers their their want to just look at you as some hot wild thing is that you seem very very family oriented. They know that you want stability and that you don't have it yet. They know that. They at least know that that you don't have stability or permanence with someone because if you did, you damn sure wouldn't be giving this person the time of day. So they can safely deduce that. That is one thing that they feel confident on in knowing. Yeah. I feel like, Virgo, you're also very smart. You, you, you're you very smart emotionally, right? Obviously, I, I think you're smart educationally as well. I mean, because I'm a Virgo son, so of course. We're arguably one of the smartest signs. I think top three, you know, I think Aquarius. I, I think Aquarius and Virgo got it. Really, I do. But... I also I also feel like here, Virg, your your edge is the fact that you're emotionally intelligent. When you get crazy, you get out of sorts emotionally. Virgo's not acting on that. I don't gotta act just because I'm mad. I don't have to act because I'm sad, because I feel threatened, because I feel insecure. I don't gotta do none of that. I will sit here and sort that shit out with myself. You will not see me sweat. You will not see that. So this is a Virgo who has so many nuggets of wisdom that you've just collected over over the span of your dating life and you also i'm also getting let me know down below virgo's like i just got a virgo who you done seen so many failed relationships it's like listen i don't need to experience it to know that i don't need to be a certain way so maybe you saw certain relationships maybe growing up friends or close close family members you've seen some bullshit you're like yeah nah you don't need to even go through it to learn from it and that's that's really i think the cornerstone of wisdom we don't need to go through some bullshit your life is enough is scary enough for me to not be like you so yeah i don't know this is a virgo who's learning from others but yeah i feel like all that makes them fearful or i don't want to use the word intimidated because i don't think you're intimidating virgo yeah what, what is this What's making, what the hell is making them this jealous or this thoughtful about the Virgo? Look, <laughs> Virgo, I'm crying. I'm crying. Options and decisions. You can't make, I'm closing the channel. Because the thing is, you can't make this up. Options and decisions is what I just asked what's making them jealous. They feel like you got mad options. I can't, I can't make this up. And it's triggering as all hell. This is a Virgo who can go somewhere by themselves or is thinking about taking a solo trip or something like that. Do that. Please do. It says not ready slow. So they keep thinking that you're not ready for them or that you're not committal. Oh my God. So I don't even know which angle to hit this reading from because I could go so many different ways right now. Because my thing is, Ver, I'm, I'm putting it together. I see how your person looks at you. They absolutely have you on a pedestal. But you being on the pedestal comes with a set of jealousy. And it's just making me wonder, has this person tried to make some sort of romantic advance toward you? Because it's almost like they're, they're, or are they thinking, why is this coming up for this person? Let's pull some tarot. Why is this coming up for this person when it comes to my Virgo? You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn, another Earth sign. Why is this coming up for my, why is this coming up for them when it comes to my Virgo? Seven of Pentacles, I'm sorry, Seven of Cups reversed and the Nine of Pentacles upright. This is my Virgo Licious card. This is my single woman card. Single man. Take it as it resonates. This is hilarious. <laughs> One thing about it, though, I feel like what gives them a little peace is that they know that you aren't, you know, Virgo is, Virgo has good taste in clothes, in vacation spots, hotels. Even if you do on a budget, you get the best on a budget, the best for less. Right? So I'm definitely talking to some of my more thrifty Virgos, but I'm also talking to Virgos who enjoy the finer things for real. And I don't mean just materially, but I also mean in terms of who and what you concern yourself with. Virgo is the most selective when it comes to that. And they're very clear on that. And I think that's what gives them comfort because they're like, if Virgo is single, again, because what they do know is that you don't have a level 
a per stability or permanence with someone because if you did you wouldn't be entertaining them giving them the time of day virgo is way too wait virgo is way too high high um high value for that type of shit right like when you're locked in you're locked in so they know that you don't have that but they also what gives them comfort is that they know that you don't have that so that means that they still have a a, a, sh a shot or something they're very clear about that how does Virgo feel about this person? That's what the hell I need to be asking at this point. Because how does Virgo feel about this person? Yeah. All right. Interesting, Virgo. Okay. So we got walking away. I like it. Chemistry. Love it. And higher purpose. Adore it. So I hear, I, I'm getting Virgo. I feel like. How you feeling toward this person? Virgo ain't scared to walk away from a goddamn soul. And that's what's the most attractive. You will walk clean the fuck away. Excuse my friends, but I have to put emphasis. You will walk the hell away from anything, Virg, that does not serve you. And I think because you know that and you feel that deep down, deep down in your soul that you have the ability to walk away, that has made your confidence go through the roof. And because of that, you're... This relationship has benefited because of that, right? Because we have chemistry, king and queen vibes here. So because of this, again, like I said, this person puts you on a pedestal. They're literally lifting you up in this picture. Male or female does not matter. This person is lifting you up. When we talk about a pedestal, that's somebody who is at a higher plane than others. That's where they got you, as they should. That is your proper spot. So I feel like, Virg, with this energy... You feel you feel a lot of chemistry toward them. You feel like there's a part of them that's, that is a that is a part of your divine purpose. You feel like there's a lot of loveliness between you two. But you also can walk the hell away. Now, why did this come out? Why why are you doing why are you, is this just for you, Virg? Like you just want to know that you, you know you're feeling good. You feel whole enough to walk away if some there's some nonsense, or do, do you feel the need to walk away from this person sometimes? I don't know if this is just a personal thing, like between Virgo and self, or is this like, I will walk away from a situation that doesn't serve me or something. Look, five of swords, look at you walking away again. Virgo's like, listen, I done walked away from my ex-husband, my ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, whom I love dearly. I could walk, and I, and I kept most of me with me. Yeah, I lost some stuff, but I kept most of me with me. I can keep it pushed. I think, Virgo, you, you've walked away from so much in your life that this is light work honestly yes you will hurt yes you will be sad yes you will cry but you damn sure won't die you will live to see another day and you will thrive okay the sun card yeah Virgo. this is just virgo i mean you could be dealing with a leo or have leo somewhere highly aspected hashtag fire virgo and the reason why you know what's so crazy about pulling this card is i'm a leo moon so the way that this really sits on me, it's really resonating for me, at least at least this part of the reading. Because I just feel like us Virgos, even if you don't have fire in your chart, you have a lot of fire-like characteristics to you, right? Like you, you're proud, Virgo. You're a very proud person. And I feel like because of that, you will never again stay somewhere where you're not being properly treated or properly properly treated that's it that's period point blank and i feel like this is all for you i i think that you just want this person i don't think this person has done anything particularly terrible i just at least it's not coming up in the reading so let me know down below but what i do feel like Virg, is that you flex your muscle when you feel like it's appropriate to flex your muscle you're not out here letting this person know well you're disposable i'll walk away any goddamn time you're not doing that because if you got to do all that then mm, do you believe it who are you trying to convince me or you Right, but I am getting Virg that you like to at least show this person, yeah, I got it. I have the ability to walk away. I have the ability to walk away clean. They know that, Virg, and that's the most attractive thing about you. But you really do like this person. Again, you feel like they're a part of your purpose. You feel like there's something very special to them. Yeah. Clarify, clarify this card. What is this? Wow. I, I just wanted to clarify options and decisions. And one of the re one of the meanings for the seven of wands is competition. So I have to read it like this, especially given the context of the reading. 
your person feels like they got stiff competition. They do, Virg. I, even if you don't got any suitors, they, this person does have competition. Cause, and this is a Virgo who I think they know knows that they have other suitors. Because, Virg, you wouldn't be popping like you popping right now if you didn't know that you can really go and get something else when you feel like it. Or maybe you don't have them and you know it's really nothing to manifest that. You just got to go outside once and you up five. Yeah, they, your person feel like you're a little problem. They got a little problem on their hands with you, Virg. Okay, I want to pull, Um, you come off so unbothered. Like, let, let me pull one of, what, of the what's tea cards, because this is definitely tea. Okay, wow, wolf in sheep's clothing. <laughs> Again, your person is wondering, Virgo, damn, Virgo is fine as hell. I know Virgo is an amazing person and I know good and damn well, I'm not the only person who wants Virgo. I just know that. I know that. Okay, give me more on this person's energy toward my Virgo. I feel like they're watching a lot about you or, or they're being very mindful of you, Virgo. We, we have forgive me. Okay, so they want your forgiveness or something, Virg. All right, at the bottom that we have on a tight leash. This person feels like once they get you, they got to keep you close because if they don't, it's it's over. All right, I'm going to overturn these cards in the extended. I'm going to get your person's next actions toward you, how they're truly feeling but don't quite have the courage to say, as well as what you're not expecting and the likely outcome. So if you're interested, Virg, everything is down below in the description to the extended. See you in a minute.